Musa Kalim from Epicop and today I'm gonna show you how you can validate forms in Ionic 3 so before we get started I would like to show you some import statements which you need to import uh, for uh, validating your forms so let's get started so this is my home.ts file and in this I'm gonna show you how uh, what needs to be imported by you in order to validate forms so first we need to import form builder obviously right so uh, before uh, uh, without form builder you cannot create forms so you need to import form builder form group and validators this is the obvious one without this you cannot validate uh, your uh, ion your ionic form fields and also you need to import this abstract control this all can be imported from angular slash forms then don't forget to give semicolon here so this four things you need to import after importing these four statements you can create you can pass one parameter inside your constructor for form builder form builder which is of type form builder right so here I'm gonna show you how you can create a form group form group of form group and in this uh, form we are going to use two fields first name and last name I'm going to make a simple form and I'll show you how you can display your validation errors in Ionic 3 right so I'll just take two fields that is I'll just take two fields that are first name and I'll give this type as abstract control last name also as abstract control so after giving these two fields let's create our form now this dot form group equals to form builder dot group so now I'm gonna create uh, I'm gonna create one uh, a field the first name field here of type comma validators validators and required as you can see here so this is all about the uh, first name let's copy down this and paste it here for the last name right last name so these are the two fields which uh, these are the two fields which you need uh, which we need to use in order to display validation errors now let's give this dot first name equals to our form group dot oops sorry I I think I I need to give this dot right right this dot controls and this name first name so copy this and pass here let's give another field called last name and equal it, it is equals to this dot form group dot con sorry I I I have to give control here right controls controls and last name this field so we are done with these things so it is giving me some error does not exist on type form builder uh, last name oh sorry I need to give form group here I have given form builder so it is taking now now the error has gone you can see here what I have done so far here is I just created two fields and a form group this form group is used to create a form using form builder 
and we have given two fields first name and last name and we made these two things as required right so if these two fields are not uh, given by user then it is going to give some error so that error will be of validation type validation error so I'll show you how you can display it later in the HTML file so these things are very important and it is obligatory in order to display validation errors we have given required field uh, we have given uh, we have made two fields required and we have also passed it in the form group so let's save this and let's move to the home.html file home.html file in this I'm gonna create one simple form one simple form so we'll just we'll just create a form and we'll give uh, form group form group equals to the group which we have created right form group so we'll give it here and inside this let's create one list and inside this list let's create an item I have an item and inside this I'll take one element called Aeon label and we'll call it as first name and now we'll take one input element Aeon input sorry I need to take input here this one right so I think we need to give it in one line as it is an input field let's give type equals to text and form control name should be equals to the name which we have given here first name right so copy this and let's pay let's copy this the ion item here for the last name as well so let's copy this last name field and give it here in the form control name so this will only display the two fields which we have given but it doesn't display any validation error for that we need to give uh, I'll give for that uh, for displaying validation errors we need to use uh, some attributes or some decoratives decorators so I'll show it later first we'll create a form first we'll complete this form uh, ion button and I'll say this as submit but right. let's save this and let's display uh, let's show the preview of this form in our browser uh, it is giving me some error form group cannot bind to form group I think I have to give form here form group let's save this mm, it is still not taking uh, I think we need to remove this let's save this and let's see still getting a shoe let's change this to the form group 
and run this and we'll see that no it is yeah it has taken now form control name must be used with the parent form group okay it is saying about the form control name okay all right as you can see here uh, this needs to be used in this way form group let's save this and we'll see the preview of the form yeah you can see here we have created our form it's a dummy form it doesn't display any validation errors we did a silly mistake here blunder mistake first we need to give first letter of the form group is cap uh, small and the group uh, wo the word group the first letter of the group G is in caps so we need to use form group here in this way and now we'll see the validation errors right so let's do it now I'll use structural directive here ng if equals to first name dot has error then we'll say if the error is required and first name dot touched then we'll display a simple error here called first name is required right oh sorry first name is required so let's save this and let's run this in the browser to see it is working or not ng if first name if it is having error of required then we'll just display this error first name is required it is touched or not we, we are also checking and here right you can see here first name is required our validation error is displaying below the first name field we'll use this same ion item below this one right and we'll change this to last name and let's copy this last name change this to last name because we are checking for last name here right so we'll save this it is working fine right the required error is displaying on the form you can see here we now we'll see the minimum and maximum length error so for that you need to use validators dot minimum length is 5 in my case you could give anything right so I'll just give 5 here and for the last name validators dot max length is 15 this way uh, you can give minimum and maximum length in this way and you can also display validation errors of minimum and maximum length minimum and maximum length on the forms so this is the way you can do it I have just shown you the required fields errors on the form but you can give your uh, own uh, values your own custom validations uh, according to your require according it depends on your requirement right so you can give it so I have just shown you how you can display the required error as you can see here uh, it is still 
giving some issue uh, we'll just save this and we'll see that so this way you can do it the form validation in ionic 3 and also you can see these things and you can find my code on github and my username is Sayed Musa Kalim 95 and I'll paste the link in the video description you can find it below right here in the description so please subscribe my channel and share my videos with your friends don't forget to watch playlist of Ionic 3 and Ionic 2 on my channel subscribe to my channel that is Epicorp you can find here on YouTube you can find it here on YouTube so hope you understand uh, how I have done the form validation in Ionic 3 let's it is giving me some uh, issue let's remove this you can see here first name is required and the two fields are required and you can also disable the button if you want to so this is all about the form validation in Ionic 3 hope you enjoy it hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.